All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back in The Sims 4 today. But today, before we get started, I want to give everybody a warm welcome. Thank you for being here. As you can see in the chat room and from the title, we're just going to quickly talk about the new kits that are coming out, I guess, in the next two days. The next two days. Wow. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, share my screen with you so that you know what I'm talking about over here. All right, yes. I hope everybody is uh, doing well today. I hope everybody is excited about the new kit announcement. Um, how do I feel about it? I actually don't hate this one. <laughs> I can't really say that I've hated any of the previous kits, but um, if you've been following along with uh, our legacy challenge, our family dynamics legacy challenge, then you already know we just recently, just recently got a new cow plant added to our household. And we also recently just put in the basement, which is required for the generation two part of our legacy so i mean i could not have handpicked the kits better myself um because we can use both of these kits with our legacy challenge generation two for the family dynamics challenge requires that the heir uh never moves out of the house until his his or her parents um pass away OK, and so that that air is supposed to be living in your basement. And this kit is perfect timing. It's coming out in two days. Granted, uh, we won't need it for a little while because our parents are uh, in, in our legacy challenge are still young adults right now. Um, well, actually, the dad, I think he just recently aged up. And the mom will be aging up in uh, a couple of sim days, but they're still not not uh, at that point where they're going to, you know, be moving on anytime soon. However, we do have the third child I've decided is going to be the heir and um, he will be moving to the basement as soon as he is of age to do so, which in my mind would be probably a teenager maybe a young adult we'll have to see how that works out but yes this kit i have to say the one on the right the basement treasures i guess it's called i think that would work out perfect with our legacy uh gameplay and then the one on the the okay i said left i meant right either way <laughs> the basement treasures which is on the right will work out perfect for our legacy challenge and then the I guess that's Greenhouse Haven kit on the left of your screen. I think that is um, useful as well because for this generation one, the very first generation, you're supposed to be able uh, to keep a cow plant alive along with 10 other unique plants as well. But that being said, I think a greenhouse would be really welcome. Uh, one thing that I am a little bit worried about is the fact that EA has had the game for nearly 10 years and they still have not figured out how to keep their plants from glitching, which is, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's, a, it's a, uh, a, a bad mark when you're trying to sell a greenhouse kit and your plants don't even you know, they're, they're, they're buggy, you know, they don't work as they're supposed to. 
So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, there is a patch that will fix the plants um, that goes along with the release of these kits on Thursday. I believe it's going to be Thursday. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. Uh, I do like the cartoon imagery that they have going on here. Um, I was just saying, I kid you not. Well, if you were here, you were here. But if you weren't, I was literally just saying when we were making the basement the other day, how I needed some uh, worn out, tattered, you know, grungy looking furniture. And if you just look at the image on the right, you can see the little coffee table, you know, the rattan or wicker that's on the front of this uh, coffee table is breaking on one side and completely broken on the other side. Um, the uh, the table is just is old, is real old. <laughs> if you notice the wallpaper in the back, it's all the paints all chipped away off the walls. So I'm looking forward to getting um, some more worn out items. It looks like there's stain on the floor here. Like, um, I don't know if this is supposed to portray carpeting or if it is supposed to be, you know, concrete. Um, not sure, but I am hoping that we get some more assets to make things look old and that we also have things that are made to look old already. Not, that doesn't require our input at all. I'm seeing the chairs upside down stacked over here. These would be wonderful assets to have in the game because we don't have those things. And a lot of players are going outside of EA and downloading mods such as the tool mod to be able to, you know, maneuver the objects in the game and um, to, to flip things around, move things in in odd ways to where you can get this look but some of us don't want to go outside of the game to get a mod to do that and some of us just don't uh feel comfortable doing that so it's nice if ea could add some objects you know maybe some tilted mirrors or you know just things that aren't perfect um tilted pictures to hang on the wall and things such as that unless they want to build the tool mod into their own game, that would be nice too, but I doubt they're gonna do that, especially since Sims 5 has already shown a function similar to that. I doubt they're gonna add it to the Sims 4. That's gonna be something they're gonna want you to come to Sims 5 to get. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, go to the next screen. I pulled up a couple of things to show off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close out Twitter. And then uh, we have the, uh, there we go. We have the uh, news article that EA has posted. And uh, I'm just gonna, gonna read it. It's my first time seeing it right along with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what it says. So it's rediscover your roots with the sims and obviously roots is making fun of uh the plants that are in the greenhouse so um i'm sure that's what that's about it may also be about your family roots because i know i saw a couple of uh family pictures on the wall in some of the imagery okay we can take a look at this greenhouse i'm not seeing too much that's new Honestly, I just downloaded a custom content pack from someone who did a garden a greenhouse and all of this stuff is already included and that is already available for free. Um, I don't want to give credit to the wrong person, so I won't say who it is. You know what? I'll give credit to a couple of people uh, that I follow. So I follow Pierre Sims or... Uh, yeah, Pierre Sims. I also follow uh, Sixum uh, Sims. Um, and if the word Sims is not at the end of these, I apologize. But I, 
Your girl just got up, okay, so I'm not thinking completely straight, but Pierre Sims, um, we have Hey Harry, you have Felix Ander, you have quite a few care, uh, YouTube creators out there that are making awesome content for the game, and quite a few of them already have um, kits, if you will, or packs that are designated towards gardening including greenhouses. So I would highly suggest if you don't want to fork over the, the cash to EA, you can go and grab one of those for free because I think a lot of those uh, have already come out of early access and they're available to you. But if you are someone uh, who's like myself and does both, uh, I like to uh, sometimes uh, even support on Discord, some of the custom content creators, and then sometimes I wait for some things to become open to the public and I'll grab it. But I also like to uh, grab the kits. Uh, I don't see them ever going on sale. EA has been doing kits for a little while now and not once have they put any of them on sale. Um, so I guess if you have $5 for a cup of coffee at Starbucks, then you've got $5 <laughs> to go and get a decorative, you know, few items to spruce up your imagination in your game. But that being said, yes, I do get the kits as well. Your girl is a completionist and well, I'm almost done with this ride with EA. As soon as Life by You comes out, I will probably be transferring a lot of my energy over there. Not to say that I'll be leaving The Sims completely. I probably never will. Uh, but um, for now, I'm still here and I'm still going strong. And I go ahead and I grab all the stuff that EA puts out because I like to download other people's creations and enjoy that in my game quickly when I want to just jump in and play. And the worst thing for me is to download someone's lot or save game and the characters don't have on the clothes because I didn't get the kit or I'm missing a lot of items or things get replaced with items that don't make sense. Um, so I just go ahead and get the kits. It's five dollars, you know. Yes, it adds up. But if you've got it for a cup of coffee or if you, you know, just want to save up a couple dollars and not have to go out and get an expansion pack, that's pretty much uh, riddled with you know, um, glitches and going to mess up your mods and all that stuff. And not to mention, a, a expansion kit is usually $39.99. So this is a lot cheaper. And if you are just in a, a rut and you need some inspiration, maybe now you'll want to run out and, and do some gardening with your Sims or expand on some other gameplay you are already doing. This probably goes really well with Henford on Bagley uh, to have a greenhouse. We can already make greenhouses. Let's be real, we can. Uh, you can make a greenhouse already in the game. All this does is give you extra decorative items. So basically all EA is doing is they are, they're taking cues from our content creators. We have custom content creators that do this all day long where they go and they just make decorative items to enhance your rooms. Whether it's an indoor room, an outdoor room, that's basically what custom content creators have been doing for us for years. Which is one of the reasons why I think EA should have just been focusing on gameplay all along. Uh, because we have the community that focuses on decorative items. EA, for nearly 10 years, has bloated the game with reskinning uh, the same items over and over again. The 50 million toilets, the 50 million chairs, the 50 million barbecue grills and uh, children's art tables, you know, um, we don't need EA to continue to do that. I would rather the energy be spent on new functionality, new animations, and then let our custom content creating community 
make new meshes. You know, you gave us the uh, crib, finally. So we, now we have wonderful gameplay with a crib. We don't need EA to go make five new cribs in every new pack when our custom content creators do it for us and usually for free. I do understand that we do have a new community. Well, not new, but we have a community of people who play on console. And because of uh, legal reasons or, be, you know, whatever, between EA and the console, com you know, community, let's just say, they aren't able to download custom content. So this is, this would be their argument that they would like the kids. And I understand that. But for the rest of us on PC, the majority who play on PC, um, we already have uh, this area being well taken care of, well nurtured by our modding community. So I would rather, personally, I would rather EA's focus be on animations so that the modding community can continue to give us wonderful assets, uh, decorative assets to the game. But, now that I'm done with my rant, uh, as you can see here, we got quite a few new items. And um, they're obviously all going to be decorative. There's no new functionality. If you are familiar with how kits have been getting pushed out to us. They will not be adding new functionality. Uh, don't even set yourself up for believing that they, they're gonna come with something new. They're not. And I know some people say, oh, well that's functionality if it's a new toilet. And I guess you could say that. But I mean, I turned my game on. That's not a new function. <laughs> I gotta do that, you know, it's not new. Um, my sim going to the bathroom is not new. I, I got to do that. So that's not a new functionality to me. Um, let's go ahead and look at another image real quick here. This one. This one I'm excited about. This is what I was talking about in the beginning. Which is uh, we need more grungy rundown items. Uh, and this is really going to do that. Really going to do that. You can even see that they actually did give you the chairs that are stacked upside down over here in the back. That was in the little drawing uh, that was on Twitter. Um, I'm happy to see the items are not only roughed up, used, old. You can see how worn they look here on the edges of this wood table where the, the wood stain is, is uh, basically going away, depleting. But we also get... Um, we also get uh, items that are a throwback to, let me just point out the elephant in the room. Do we not see this landline telephone sitting here? <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why that excited me, uh, but it did because we do not have a landline. Now, if EA really wanted um, to be creative, I'm going to go out there and say you could have added one feature item that has gameplay to it. And I would have loved it to be a landline. I know we don't have landlines in most homes today in reality, but landlines still exist. Um, you can walk into any business office. Yes, any company and they have landlines. OK. Not everyone has a cell phone to run a business. A lot of companies have landlines. So yeah, I would have liked to see a landline functionality, animation functionality, a um, little different than having to pee. Your Sims will do that. But if you added a landline, one tabletop landline, one that hooks on the wall, that would have uh, added gameplay a new animation, a new function to the game. And it would have gone perfectly with this kit because it looks like these are all old items, very old items. Um, I, I love how they all look worn. You can see the lamp in the corner back here where the lamp shade is, is tilted. How annoying is that? Yeah, it's perfect. Actually, this this lamp on the coffee table or on the desk over here is also tilted. 
Then we've got scratches on the wall, and these are different. It almost looks like uh, like maybe a crayon or someone moved the furniture and it scuffed up the wall. You can see it again here on the left side, just above the, the old TV. And you can see where the paint uh, or plaster paint has you know, lifted up off the wall. We've also still got some of this uh, old dingy water stain on the wall again. I don't know if that's going to be new. I would think that EA would not be reusing assets from the other packs because we do know we got some of this with uh, Stranger View. Uh, we got some of this staining with, um, you know, uh, oh, what's another one? Stranger View and, um, oh, I can't think of the other one, but there are plenty where, where we, well, I would say plenty. We, there's a couple packs where we've already got some staining. But these look new to me, even this one up here on the wall. I don't even know how the wall gets like that, but <laughs> it's good to see. We've got some stains here on the floor. I don't know if this is going to be a whole new flooring because it looks to be all over the place, not just in one area. So I don't know if we're getting new flooring. I also hope that this is not a wallpaper uh, making the plaster peel off but instead a decal because then we'll have uh, more use for it instead of just one wallpaper um, and then um, we've got I love this moving item here because this is not only going to uh, be great for basements but it will double as a moving kit if you will uh, so when you your sims are moving into a new house or new apartment You will be able to put these out for storytelling all the extra boxes. I was just yesterday I saw some packing boxes that had writing on the sides of them and I reached out to the person who had posted the image asking where they found those items because I I was suddenly in the market for those type of items to tell a story when your sims first moved to their new home uh, whether you kept a room empty because you bought a home that didn't you know have furniture for that room and you can put your boxes in there which looked really cool um loving the tv um, i know we got a tv similar to this but different very different um, but similar to this we got it with the eco living pack but I'm loving this one because if you paid attention to it, it's really damaged. It's really beat up and old. Um, it's not just, you know, a, a classic, you know, um, it's actually old and, and very worn out. And I love the way it looks. Whether or not it's going to function, I do not know for sure. Um, I don't think I've seen an image where the television was turned on. Would I like it to work? I would like them to put two versions in the kit. If they're going to make it be functional and it works like a normal TV, again, not a new animation, not a new function, not a new animation, not new gameplay, not by my books. Um, but if they did make it a regular TV, I would hope that they give you a version that is just decor because sometimes you just want a TV that doesn't function. Uh, I feel the same way about the children's toys because what I find is my Sims go around cleaning up items that I scattered about that I wanted just to tell a story, that I wanted just for decor items. So it'd be nice if we get uh, a television that doesn't work, that is just decor, and one that actually functions for those that are telling a different story. Um, the other thing I noticed, if you can tell in the mirror, the reflection here, that there's a TV in the corner here, but it's being used as a table. Now, we do have one that looks similar to this, but it functions as a stereo. So I think there's like, and, and the reason I love this one so much is it's a little dear to my heart. Uh, growing up as a kid, we had a unit that looked like this in real life when I was very little. Uh, it had a TV in the center, speakers that covered the whole front on left and right. On the top, it opened on the left 
and on the right, it like lifted up um, like a, a freezer, you know, like a deep freezer. And inside on one side were the tape deck and radio controls. And then on the other side, it was um, a record player built into it. And I remember, yeah, I remember as a kid when the tube went out, my mom kept it because the stereo and the radio, uh, the record player still worked. So she literally stacked a TV like a normal TV. <laughs> oh, it was so ghetto. It was so ghetto. But we were poor, okay? We were poor. I was very little when this happened. And we had the TV on top of it. And it was used, it was still being used because the record player, the radio, and, uh, and it worked as a TV stand at that point. <laughs> Pretty funny stories. Um, but you'll also notice, so I really like that addition here. I don't know if the TV is going to work in the game again, or is it going to be just decor? Personally, just like this TV, I would like two versions if it is going to function as a TV. And who knows? I, I don't like to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't like that EA depends too much on the community, the modding community, because I'm sure that they're just going to say quickly, Oh, well, modders will add the TV function to it. And my answer to that is, if modders could do it, then so could you. And why didn't you? Um, stop depending on the community, but yet you want to jump in here into the uh, modding community sector, if you will. And you want to collect $5 from everybody. And you not, you're not even doing the most, you know. So let's hope that if they are going to uh, give you two of these, one of them functions and one is decor, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, I love the pictures on the wall. Um, my mom actually had frames like these. Crazy, crazy. It, the, these uh, throwback items are pretty nice. I call them throwback because they're old. So we're just going to call them throwback. But I love how grungy and uh, messy the pillows look on the couch the um, couch is gonna work all of this is gonna work out perfect for the story we're gonna be telling for generation two um, because uh, well if you've read generation two for the family dynamics challenge uh, your 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 heir is in the basement and ordering takeout every day or at least once a week they say but they uh, basically just play video games and don't want to move out. They're fine just living in the basement. So I'm thinking this furniture is going to look just perfect. I've also noticed the board games over here. I hope that we can move those off of this TV stand. And uh, we might be able to because I see the record play, uh, the records. And that is also right here. So it's movable. It's movable. So I'm hoping these board games, you can tell they're old. The boxes are all beat up. Um, so I'm hoping uh, we get to move those around. Um, down here we have, um, I'm going to say that's baby wipes. I don't like that it's there. Unless this is all one object and it's tied together. Um, which I hope it's not. I hope it functions maybe like a bit of a, that it has a slot on top and you can put whatever you want. But the reason I think it's tied together is because the baby wipes. Oh, no, wait a minute. I take that back. The baby wipes came with the base game. So maybe that is uh, just a slot on top of the chair and you can put whatever you want on top of it. OK. All right. I like that. I like that. I like the box of clothing stacked right here. That's going to be perfect for those moving, moving to your own apartment, moving to university. Um, I think that is going to be great. Uh, what else do we see? Yeah, we got some uh, base game items being thrown in here, like the dirty clothes on the floor, the rug, you know, um, and, and dare I say the baby wipes. I think all of that is a uh, base game. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at the decal on this wall up here. You can see the brick being exposed right at the top of the stairs. So I'm really hoping that these are decals that we can use anywhere and that they are not just wallpapers. Uh, they would be more functional if they're just decals. 
So that is wonderful. I think that this uh, computer back here is also base game. I believe you unlock that if you're in the writing career. So yeah, this is looking real good. Real good to me. Um, let's go ahead and look at the final picture that we have. It is just another angle of the same room, but you do get to see a little bit more. You can see the landline phone over here a little better. You can see that the coffee table is worn out a little more. And uh, what do you know? Some of the rattan actually survived on this table. Uh, but real, oh look, now we can see that the stack chairs does have a functioning slot. Uh, on the other picture, it was holding baby wipes. You can see here in the back. But then when it's in the next image, it's holding a bowl of potato chips. So yes, this is perfect. You can use it like a little coffee table. Um, so I want to point out, uh, also this is functioning as a coffee table. I'm sorry I keep flipping back and forth, but I'm just noticing changes. So here you can see the landline on top of the lunch pail is on the chest. And then on the next picture, the chest has the boxed, uh, worn out box of games. So those are actually a moving object and it also has a slot where you can place things on it. We also get this worn out mirror, which I actually needed something like that yesterday. So that's pretty cool. We have this, what looks like a recliner. I want to go back one more time. So sorry. It's all worn out. And it's wonderful. What would have been nice is if they had gone just a little bit further and added the functionality, the animation for it to recline, for your sim to kick back and recline and take a nap in the chair. Um, I would like to say that that's a new animation. I would like to say, <laughs> but I cannot. Uh, it would be new to Sims 4, but it would not be new to The Sims. Uh, we already have recliners in uh, The Sims 2. Yeah, if you were around or if you've installed The Sims 2, you're going to get a whole heck of a lot more gameplay animations, functionality out of The Sims 2 uh, compared to The Sims 4 and The Sims 3. But this chair... Uh, actually reclines, has a wonderful animation, very cute, believable, homey uh, functionality. Why, who, want, who doesn't want to see their grandpa, their dad, their tired mom reclining in the chair in front of the tube, you know, watching TV? And um, EA could have done that, but of course they probably have not because I think they would have shown this sim doing more than the seated animation she's been doing for nearly 10 years. So, yeah, they didn't add to the sitting animation. Let's move on, shall we? Or I'll get into another rant. Um, behind this couple that's chatting in the corner, you kind of see the mattress thrown against the wall and the uh, headboard, footboard, box springs, whatever you want to call it, is behind the mattress. It's very cute decor. Um, I watched Simmer Aaron's video right before watching, you know, jumping on here. And she pointed out that it might have animation. Um, I, I, I'm going to say it might, but I'm not going to give EA that kind of credit. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Um, I think that it definitely is a throwback to The Sims 2 because we did have a functioning uh, heart-shaped headboard, footboard, vibrating bed in The Sims 2. And a lot of Simmers have asked EA to bring that back. I'm not seeing that being a functionality. The reason I say that is because there's no space for that to be like built on like we have the tree house that came with the new the latest expansion pack um and you know it gives you a footprint on how much space is going to be required to put that together if this was buildable and i would love to be wrong if this was buildable then this would be in the way this here uh 
dolly clutter would be in the way. If it wasn't there, then yeah, I would be a little more hopeful, might be convinced a little bit quicker that, uh, that it was going to be functional, that you could build it like you could build the tree house. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might be the case, just like I'm hoping with the TVs, that they gave us two. One that's just decor you put in the corner and one that actually can be built. That would be nice. Um, but there I am adding gameplay uh, to items that probably will not be coming with gameplay. Uh, but yeah, a reclining chair, a buildable bed that gives you back the functionality or at least some of the functionality that came with the classic bed in The Sims 2. They literally gave you a vibrating bed. It had the sounds of vibration. It was hilarious. And I think that that would trigger people to go and make hotels, motels, holiday inns. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it definitely would trigger some creativity. And I could see some, some stories coming out of that if they gave us a vibrating bed that we had in Sims 2. Um, at most, even if it were buildable, I, I'm sure it just probably functions as the beds do right now, which still you're only capable of sitting and um, you can't even, you know, relax together and talk like you could in Sims 3 and in Sims 2. Uh, so they they got a long way to go. They got a long way to go. But yeah, if the TV functions, the recliner function, the uh, bed could be built and it function. These would be gameplay items that would be bringing back, you know, new animations. Not the TV, but the recliner and being able to build the bed. Even building the bed would probably just be a recycled animation. And then you get the same functionality as a normal bed. But I would be excited for that. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's probably just clutter. Just decor. Like everything else. Uh, oh, and I, and I forgot. I also said they should have given us animations for a landline to work. But yeah, let's move on. As far as the greenhouse, um, I mean, what, what could they do here? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe make the table function uh, and, and maybe you could make different plants. Maybe you could make fertilizer and animation. <clears throat> I don't know. A little bit of a stretch. Let's go over here and see if we got any clues that come with the blog uh, that they put up. So we has Rediscover Your Roots with The Sims 4. The Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven and Basement Treasures Kit. So um, I should have enlarged this. I don't know if I can enlarge that. Uh, open image in a new. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's another image um, of the outdoor kit. So we got some new windows that come with it. And uh, looks like some pots with fertilizer. You don't have to go into debug anymore to get bags to look like fertilizer. Um, just some more pots here and I'm not sure if we already have these uh, sunflowers. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Um, I don't remember seeing those. Now this log over here with the turtle on it is already in the game. Uh, I think it's under um, landscaping. And as long as you click on it, you can enable it to let turtles crawl on it. So that's already in the game. Um, this is in the game. Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing new, obviously, are the windows, which I'm happy for. Uh, I'm happy to have those. But I think just the windows, the door, obviously, the planter pots, we already have some like these. But I think that they were showing that they're different plant colors. So uh, it's just a new color swatch. I think the plant is already in the game. It may be different. Uh, but it, it's not so different to make notice of it. 
The items out here on the ground, I want to say this one is already in the game. The little tools with the gloves is already in your base game. But um, I wish they would just come up with all new. Don't depend so heavily on filling up space with base game items. Make everything new, you know, because this water hose could have been a different one. You know, it didn't need to go on the wall. I know when I uh, had one, it had a box and you could see the hose sticking out of it because it rolled up into it. And that would have been an, a new item to add. You know, it doesn't work anyway. It's just decor for the game. Uh, so, yeah, EA, you know, go all out. If you're going to sell a kit, don't go into debug because these items over here, that's from the game. So really, uh, I wish I had a little marker. The only thing that's new are these plant pots, this little collection right here, and this right here. That's the only thing that's new in this section. Not the new seat. I don't think he's sitting on a new bench. Um, so that's one, two, three items down here at this level, at this eye level. That's just three items. One, two, three items that I see. If you see more, tell me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let me know. But from down here below the stairs, I only see three new items. And then uh, up here, you know, you've got this whole unit. I don't think those pieces come apart. Uh, we can take a look inside and see. It all looks to be the same. So those pieces do not come apart. Okay. There's no slots on it to add anything. I take that back. There is a little plant here. It would be nice if it could grow. If it's functional, but I doubt it. It's probably just decorative. Uh, but over here, there's a bag on top. I don't know what the bag is. Is it a bag of seeds? I don't know. But it is different than this image with the little pot with the little seedling growing out of it. Uh, so there is a slot on the table. That's nice to see. But, I mean, it's minimum. It's minimum. Unless you can actually open that pack of seeds. I mean, you're still probably just doing a swipe animation. So is that new function? Not really. We'll see. We'll see. I don't mean to be Debbie Downer. I'm just looking at uh, history is all I'm doing. Over here, uh, the only thing that's new besides this cart is this pot here. Uh, but I want to point out that that's the exact same pot that's already featured right here. They just have it turned a different angle. So that's not another item that's just moved twice. It's used twice. And then we have this table up here. Okay. Now, is that over here? Yes. And you can see they used a base game pot here. So there are slots on the table. Um, sorry about that. Each item on top is different. So there's at least three slots on this table. And you also get to see that these are individual items that you're going to be able to place uh, in different areas. So you've got, what is that, one, two, three, four, five pots probably comes together as one unit. And then you've got this uh, tray of sprouting seeds. Uh, and then we've got some water bottles over here. It looks like there were three. I think I saw that somewhere else, but I'm not seeing it now. Oh, up here. So that right there, that... Uh, section cluster cluster of uh, spray bottles different spray bottles is uh, being used again right here so it is a separate object you can count that as an object uh, but yeah that's uh, I think that's it guys that's it for that so what is that one two three four okay uh, five and then you can count the individual items six seven and that one little pot, eight. And then you've got windows, closed, nine, open, 10. And a door, 11. I'm not counting the top of this because that's already in the base game, I believe. Um, I will point out the light or the fan unit back here. I do not think that's in the game now that I'm seeing it. So you might want to count that too as well, I mean. Um, I think we've all been going into debug to get items like that, but you might have one coming with this is that fan to circulate air in your greenhouse. All right, let's get back to the the the, the meat and potatoes. All right, so it says soul soul simmers. It's time to take a deep breath. Your home. 
from an idyllic plant playhouse fit for any gardening lover to a basement hangout full of loved furniture passed down throughout the years. Now is the time, is the perfect time to create your escape from the busy world in The Sims 4. So, you know, they're they're going with a gardening lover if you have a Sim with that trait, you know, that you love gardening. Uh, and then over here uh, with the greenhouse, okay, with the Sims 4 greenhouse and basement treasures uh, kit, players will have the opportunity to create well-loved spaces that are bright, open, and bustling with greenery or filled with lived-in furniture and sentimental decor. Okay, so you're getting furniture and decor, okay? And then this whole open and bustling uh, greenhouse. Don't know where the bustling is coming from. Uh, I get the uh, bright, that's because of the windows. And I get the open, uh, that's because you can open these up. And obviously to have a greenhouse, you're gonna need a lot of space in there. Bustling, I don't know. Are we getting gameplay? I don't know. Uh, because bustling to me means you'd be busy. I would love for that table to be functional, but I don't know. I guess they just mean him watering plants would be bustling. Who knows? Who knows? All right, um, let's see. Get ready to design spaces that feel perfect at home, per that feel perfectly at home. All right, a plant playhouse for any gardening lover. The Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven Kit provides a Sim with a serene retreat from the hustle and bustle of the busy world. Sims can create a peaceful, serene greenhouse in their home with lovely, versatile uh, gardening decor. Again, decor. Don't expect any new gameplay. From weaving their way through cluttered greenhouses to relaxing alone amongst the foliage. Um, relaxing alone. To me, relaxing means laying down, reclining. I don't know if we were getting any new seating items, so I don't know about that. But relaxing alone amongst the foliage. We, I already pointed out they're doing some new coloring to the plants. Uh, so maybe that's where the foliage part is coming in. Um, don't know if we're getting a lot of new plants with this. I didn't see a lot of new plants. I didn't see a lot of new plants. Um, let's see. The greenhouse haven kit has something for every sim with or without a green thumb in this uh this new dedicated gardening space. Why do I feel like my, my mouse just turned off on me? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm dealing with a uh, wireless mouse. And I feel like my mouse just turned off on me. That's not good, guys. Uh, let's see here. We have... Um, let's see with or without a green thumb in this space, dedicated uh, greenhouse space. All right, so the Sims can design the greenhouse of their dreams with beautiful uh, glass pane windows and doors. We did point that out. We already saw that. Um, uh, let's see, including starter seed seedlings. Okay, hold on including starter seedlings, stacks of pots, a planting table, hanging flower baskets, and more. So we did already point all that stuff out, okay? I just wonder if any of it is going to function. We will have to see. Yeah, my mouse is totally gone, so I'm gonna just uh, finish this up here, guys, and uh, and then I'll come back. Wife Mom Simmer, hello, welcome. How are you feeling? Did you hear about the new kits that are coming out on Thursday, coming out on the 20th? How do you feel? 
We're just reviewing that real quick here. Let's see. Find your comfort in the past down well loved. Passed down and well loved. Oh, you didn't know until now. Yes. Simmer Aaron put up a lovely uh, video and I got to watch that. Love the new stuff. I love it too. I love it too. We may as well embrace kits because I don't think they're going anywhere, guys. I think they're here for the long haul. Uh, let's see here. The Sims 4 Basement Treasures Kit encourages Sims to create the classic hand-me-down basement room, challenging Sims to deviate from the pristine and embrace the imperfect with grungy and aged decor. From grandma's old worn furniture to thrive, uh, thrifting finds, every piece has a story and potential for new life. What do you say? You need this, your basement? Yes, you guessed it. I didn't guess it. I had no idea this was coming, but we definitely need it. That's for sure. It's going to fit perfectly with our uh, family dynamics challenge we got going on. And we just built that basement yesterday. So this is perfect timing. Perfect timing. I will definitely get some use out of it. I was also mentioning that our cow plant can go in the greenhouse now, which would be great. I'm not sure if I, actually I will be able to lock the door. So that'd be real good. Maybe we can keep a couple family members from getting getting chomped on. Um, just reading this paragraph, um, if your girl was to uh, daydream a little bit, there is a lot being said here. And uh, there, there may be a lot or there may be nothing. That's the thing with EA. They're very good at words uh, in describing their items, but, but they're misleading a lot of the time. A lot of the time they're misleading. So what do I mean? Okay, my mouse has died. I just want to let y'all know my mouse is not working. So I'm just going to have to uh, read it instead of highlight it for you. But here where it says deviate from the pristine. Um, basically, we've had nearly 10 years and very most often you're getting new items, not grungy items. You know, the werewolf pack. Um, the Star Wars pack, uh, the uh, Eco Living pack, the uh, Strangerville pack. Those are probably the ones where you're going to get some worn items. But for the most part, everything is new. Uh, so when they say to deviate from the pristine, that's what they're talking about. Is you've got a 10-year-old game and most of it is all very new items. You know, um, nothing looking worn out. Even when you go to the uh, festival, if you have the city living pack, uh, even when you go to the festival, um, the items that they put out are not used. The And I would love an update. I would love for them to code it to where some of those items um, get changed, you know, that it sifts through and, and gives you different items um, that would look like this. Because that's what, you know, that's what, a, 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 what it should look like is worn items. Not everything is going to be new, you know. But maybe you can sell some of these items in a thrift store if you wanted to run a thrift store. You know, you could have your little bubble tea shop on one side and thrift store on the other. Just lots of ideas. That's what these little $5 uh, packs do is give you new ideas. But here where it says every piece has a story and potential for new life. That last four words, potential for new life. I'm telling you right now, if that does not say that you should be able to repair. I don't know what else would. It sounds like because Simmer Aaron believes that possibly 
the bed that um, was from Sims 2, the heart-shaped bed that's leaning against the wall in the other image, she believes you might be able to make it function. And this last four sentences makes me think that possibly you could. Possibly. Every piece has a story and potential for new life. Now, by saying every piece, that makes me think, can I, can I repair the TV? And, and it work? Can I repair, you know, the, uh, can I repair the bed and it work? Is that a functioning recliner? Can I repair the recliner? Every piece has a story and potential for new life. But I doubt it. After all of that, I'm going to still sit back here and say, nah, nah, I doubt it. I think it's all decor, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I'll come back and give you guys a review when it, the pack comes out. Let's see. We have Sims can return home and relax in their favorite spot on worn, torn, and well-loved chairs or couches from the past. I would have loved for that to say instead of chairs for it to say recliner because then I'm like, oh, maybe it does recline. But I think it just probably functions as a chair, unfortunately. Life is for living and Sims can walk down memory lane with a milk crate of vinyl records, old trophies and family photos, worn trunks and more so you're going to be getting milk crates which you can see they're going to have vinyl records you can see some of them do you've got old trophies i didn't see trophies i guess i do on top of that bookshelf in the back right corner and i'm going to assume that might be a single item that you can move around um, as a unit of course but it might not be tied to that bookshelf and then for family photos, you can see the photos on the wall. There are two. Um, I'm guessing it's probably uh, either two separate frames or it's just one and it's a recolor. I'm not sure. They look pretty similar, so it's probably just a recolor. Uh, and then we have worn trunks and more. Okay. I'm always interested in the more because sometimes it could just be one more item, but I guess that technically counts as more. But it's kind of misleading because it makes it sound like there's a whole bunch more, but yeah. <laughs> I think you get what you can see. If you don't see it, don't expect it to be there. You get what you see. Uh, let's see, from stains to soils and everyday wear and tear, there is comfort in the flawed passed down and lived in items like an old model tv ah there you go still functional but not in its prime so it does work uh, again i hope we get one that is decorative and doesn't work um, and then we have or or ea even better if they gave us a cheat that we could put into like, uh, you know, testing cheats, enabled, true. And then you could click on it and say non-functional. That would be perfect, that capability. Uh, then we could do that for all items. So say you wanted um, a stove, but you didn't want your sim to get cooking skills. So you could make it non-functional if they gave us coding to where we could go into debug or you know, in, into your settings and click on it and say non-functional, you know, um, that would help you to tell your stories. So that person never gets cooking skills that they simply use the microwave and they don't cook. Um, let's see. And I know somebody might be like, oh, well, you could just put an object in front of the stove and then they can't get to it. But what generally happens is your sim will keep taking food out of the fridge and putting trays of food all over the house because they want to use that item or they stomp their feet and they complain. Whereas if we could uh, make things non-functional, then uh, that would rectify that problem and they would just use the microwave. Also, you could use that capability to turn off toys 
so that if you wanted to clutter a room with toys, the parents wouldn't go around cleaning all the toys up, messing up all the work you put in to make your room look cluttered. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have um, dusty trinkets add to the grungy space with these lived in items creating a comfortable basement. Now, when they say comfortable, they've used that twice. This whole comfortable basement, the comfortable, you know, furniture. I'm thinking that the comfort level is still going to be set normal. And I can see some people liking that and some people not. Uh, for me, I want to decorate and have a theme, but I don't want my sim to be grumpy all day. Uh, at least not due to couches that don't give you energy, beds that don't let you sleep. Uh, a lot of the modding community will give you something that looks old and um, they will they will still give you good functions on it so that you can decorate for aesthetic purposes only. And so I'm hoping that that the uh, comfort level is going to be comfortable because they use comfort in this paragraph twice. I guess, yeah, it's a two sentence paragraph. And they use comfort twice. <laughs> also, uh, where it says from stains to soils, um, that I, I'm thinking it's the floor and the wall decals because there's definitely lots of stains and um, soils on the walls and on the floors. So I'm thinking all that is definitely being included in the pack. Now, again, my mouse has totally died, so I'm just going to have to go down like this with my keyboard. I think this is the last part of it. It's just another image which we already saw in the other tab. So that is that, guys. How we feeling? How we feeling? Wife Mom Simmer says we're going to have rags to riches. And I think this will definitely help uh, for those that are telling a rags to riches story. Absolutely. Ah, I just noticed also you can see how the brick uh, on the wall, just above the pictures, that green wall, uh, just above the pictures and just at the top of the staircase, you can see the brick being exposed where the wall has chipped away. I am going to love having those items uh, in my basement. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we were making a basement and we were trying to get that kind of aesthetic vibe going on in the basement so this is going to be great i'm looking forward to it i mean the kits aren't going anywhere so you guys may as well embrace them get some use out of it and again we have the uh, greenhouse that is coming um i'm gonna get some use out of that too uh hopefully i can uh, make a decent sized one the lot that my sims are living on is kind of small but uh, we'll see what we can do and see if we can put a greenhouse and maybe uh, put our Audrey, Audrey 2, because I killed the first uh, plant sim, or not plant sim, but uh, cow plant. Unfortunately, that, this is our second cow plant, Audrey, Audrey 2. Everybody knows that if you know that, and if you don't, well, Google Audrey 2 and you have a wonderful movie to go watch. <laughs> Uh, but yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that I will definitely be getting these kits uh, on Thursday and I will stream them on Thursday so you guys can see what they look like. We're probably just going to add them right into our game and, uh, and uh, keep it moving. It definitely will add some gameplay for some people. I think they're going to enjoy it. Wife Mom Simmer says she too will be getting the kits. Yes, she too will be playing with her new kits. <laughs> Give a little wink at you with that. Um, but yes, I hope everyone uh, will enjoy the new kits. You know, they are making them hopefully for us to enjoy, not just as a money grab i know some people think they're just money grabs and you know at the end of the day that's what they do for a living they they grab your money that that's what they're there for so um 
and hopefully we get something from them that we think is valued at the price that they're charging. That's what they're there for. They're supposed to give you, to sell you something. So yeah, let's hope we get something out of it and we consider it worth the fee. <laughs> Are those sunflowers new? You know what? I was asking that as well. Um, I don't remember seeing them in the game, but they, I, I mean, I know we have sunflowers in the game. I just don't know if we have these sunflowers or if these are new. I'm not sure. Um, it would be cool if we got a new plant with the, the kit. I doubt it, but it would be nice if uh, you did get some, some actual, even if it's recycled gameplay, um, to add a new plant. That would be nice, you know, but I don't know. It might be in debug. Who knows? I've never seen them in the game, um, but I have seen sunflowers. Um, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I can't believe I talked about the kits for two hours. We don't even have the kits. We're just talking about them coming. They are coming out on the 20th. I think it says that at the bottom of the screen. Um, I was going to go ahead and uh, stream, but I think I'm just going to uh, close out. Yeah, you can see here it says that they'll be available April 20th, 2023. Um, so, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and close out here. And uh, I hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whichever time zone you are in. Bye bye.